Dear students, we have discussed about pseudocode and we have learned about different structures which can be used to represent an algorithm using a pseudocode. Now the next step is that how we should identify or discover or invent the algorithm for a particular thing. So we have these four stages that have been described theoretically. For example, first phase is that we should understand the problem. The next stage is get an idea of how an algorithmic function might solve that problem. Third phase is formulate the algorithm and represent it as a program. And the phase four is evaluate the program for accuracy and for its potential as a tool for solving other problems. So normally, whatever algorithm is discovered, invented by someone or by you that will be done in this course, then it will follow these phases or stages. However, it is not necessary that all of the phases will be followed in a sequence. So it may happen that you start a little bit understanding of the problem and designing your algorithm and then you are getting clear about the problem further and it is do going to be done in 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 a coordination uh, all of these phases in a pro proper structured way so these are the important points that you do not uh, solve by following rather you take as a lead and initiator so whenever you find that this is the problem which i have understood and i need to solve it so then you can solve it by your critical thinking and by your means so in computer science if you want to design an algorithm and you are following someone's strategy then you might not be successful because this is basically the critical thinking which make you someone to be accredited or acknowledged by the community that you are basically a very good algorithm designer person. So then step by step procedure does not work sometime and you get involved. You will notice that you have solved the algorithm problem using these phases. So let's have a practical problem. Of it so for example if there is a person a that is a charge with the task of determining the ages of person b's three children and person b tells a that the product of children's age is 36 so this means that there are three children and if we multiply the ages of these three children this will become 36 that's fine but you know that 36 can be formed by many means so for example, the age of one children could be one, second children could be one, and third children could be 36. Then it will become 36, the product. Or it, it may be like the age of the first children is one, second children is two, and third children is 18. Again, it will become 36. So it is very difficult to guess that what is the actual age of these three children. Then after considering this clue, A replies, the person A replies, that another clue is required. and B tells A the sum of the children ages and but we do not have the sum right now and again A replies that another clue is needed so B tells that the oldest child plays the piano so this means that you need to identify that what is the age of playing a piano in the world and if you inquire then you can find that even a person or even a boy a child of very small age of one year or even below one year he or she can strike the piano keys so this clue doesn't seems to be working fine for us so this is what I we have understood from this problem but when we start discussing this problem then you will see that the main climax or the main hint which will help us to identify the ages is basically lying in this statement which at the moment we are not giving any weightage and we are saying that everyone can play the piano so after hearing this clue A tells B the ages of three children so how old are the 
three children so let's start discussing one by one so for example first way is that we need to make all of the combinations which gives 36 so 1 1 36 the age of first child is 1 second is 1 third is 36 1 2 18 first could be 1 second could be 3 third could be 12 and so on so we have formed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these eight combinations and these eight combinations are all possible combinations of three values which can give the product as 36 now the next clue was that the sum so let's make the sum of these all of these eight pairs as well so if we make the sum it becomes 38 21 16 14 and we do not know the sum remember 13 13 11 10 so from here we can notice one important thing that two triples have the sum the same sum of 13 so this is the basically the main point here that we should exclude all of these as if with the sum value person a was able to tell the ages then it could be 38 21 16 14 or any value but when that person said that i cannot still guess this means that there are at least two or more than two values of sum which are exactly same so exactly same values are 13 the two triples so we have listed down them 1 plus 6 plus 6 and 2 plus 2 plus 9 so these two could be the required answers now again see again read the question that it says that the oldest child play the piano are you getting the hint from here if we the answer lies into these two triples and we are saying the oldest can play the piano so if that person is going to tell this way that person might have told that two of the oldest persons uh, oldest children can play the piano but the person has not said it like that he has said that the oldest one so this means only this is the possible ages of three children so it tells that first child is two years old second is two years old and the oldest one is nine years old so this was one of the way to solve or to come up with the algorithm after understanding this problem so if we conclude this module we have learned that making an algorithm is a uh, is following those stages which we have discussed but those stages are not going to be uh, followed one by one and we have seen that while understanding the problem we were of the point of view that this statement is not of our interest the piano one however that was the main statement which helped us to solve this problem so this means that all of these stages are working together and you are critically thinking and you are innovatively trying to solve the problem with all and passing through all of those stages at one time or another time to come up with the solution to build an algorithm.